By analyzing ancient tree rings found in the southern French Alps, an international team of scientists has revealed a huge spike in radiocarbon levels 14,300 years ago. The radiocarbon spike was caused by a massive solar storm, known as a Mayaki event. This is the ninth such event to have been identified, and the largest so far. Miyake events are named after the Japanese physicist Fusa Miyake, who, along with colleagues, identified the first three of them in 2012. Their extreme solar events, including solar flares and coronal mass ejections, that unleash short-term bursts of energetic particles into space. Upon arrival at Earth, these cause sudden surges in radiocarbon production in the upper atmosphere, a record of which is then preserved in tree rings over the course of a single year as the radiocarbon makes its way to ground level and is absorbed by living things. The most recent confirmed Mayaki events occurred more than a thousand years ago in 774 AD and 993 AD. This newly identified 14,300 year old storb is however the largest that has ever been found roughly twice the size of the two most recent ones. Nine such extreme solar storms have now been identified as having occurred over the last 15,000 years. The exact nature of Mayaki events remains poorly understood because they've never been directly observed instrumentally. Direct instrumental measurements of solar activity began only in the 17th century with the counting of sunspots. Nowadays, we also obtain detailed records on a daily basis using ground-based observatories, space probes, and satellites. But these short-term instrumental records aren't enough to gain a complete understanding of how the Sun behaves over long periods. The largest directly observed solar storm occurred in 1859 and is called the Carrington Event, after the British astronomer Richard Carrington who was among the first to observe the giant solar flare that gave rise to it. The heightened electromagnetic field caused by the massive influx of charged particles caused numerous telegraph machines to spark and even burn out. The nighttime aurora was so bright that birds started to sing, tricked into thinking the sun was rising. Mayaki events are, however, an order of magnitude greater in size than the Carrington event, and our modern technological society is far more vulnerable to the effects of such a gigantic solar outburst. A storm such as occurred 14,300 years ago could, in a single day, wipe out global telecommunications and satellite systems and cause irreparable damage to electricity grids around the world. Blackouts would last months, and without communications or power, it's impossible to imagine what the long-term effects upon society might be. We can't control the sun, but we can learn more about how it behaves and how to mitigate the dangers it poses to us here on Earth. What causes Mayaki events and other such extreme solar behavior? Can we learn to predict when they might occur? And can we build sufficient resiliency into our communications and energy systems to protect ourselves from the worst effects of them?